Happy Wednesday, everyone. So today we're doing something a little different. We're not doing drawing. So I have a white piece of paper, I have a pencil and scissors, and then I have a glue stick. And then I have, I went through our recycling bin and just took out a bunch of magazines and junk mail and stuff. Um, for some colored paper because I don't have construction paper at home. So you could go and see, ask your parents if you have any junk mail or scrap paper laying around that you could use for this project. So we're gonna do a collage today. A collage means cut paper. So we're gonna cut and tear paper to make a landscape. And a landscape is a picture of land. It could include a lot of different things, it's up to you. It could include houses and buildings, people, totally up to you. I'm just gonna do a simple one. Um, I'm gonna start, I kind of just like grabbed a bunch of stuff, so I don't even know what I have here. But I'm gonna look through and now thinking about your landscape does not have to be like perfect or whatever. Um, I'm gonna tear some paper and I'm gonna layer paper on my white paper to kind of make my beginnings of my landscape. And this is more abstract, meaning it doesn't have to be a perfect landscape. So right now I'm tearing paper so it kind of looks like it got it's got bumps in it. Um, if you have plain construction paper laying around at home, you could use that so you could get um, you could use that for your regular things so you wouldn't have words and stuff on it I'm gonna use the words to my advantage like this box I think I might make that into a house or something um, but I'm just kind of layering my paper right now I think I'm gonna cut or tear this one a little bit more into like maybe a mountain. Okay. I'm using a glue stick. You could use a glue bottle, whatever you have laying around for your project. Um, one thing to think about is you do not need a lot of glue. So um, what I try to teach kids is dot, dot, not a lot. Um, Cause you don't want glue coming out the sides of your paper. So I'm kind of just layering my paper, kind of getting the hillside or mountains going here. Um, Maybe I have some blue in here somewhere. I don't know. I didn't really look through my paper before I started. This one, this ad has a lot of solid color. So I'm gonna tear that. And maybe that could be my sky. dark, a dark sky going on back here. So remember, art is a lot of just experimentation or playing around. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, so I kind of got that part covered. So I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna turn this over, and you see all the parts that are hanging off the edges? I'm just gonna cut those off so I can kind of see what else I have to work with. Now, if you don't wanna cut these parts that are hanging off, you don't have to. You could leave them on in your outside of your collage could be more organic, which means it, ha it has a natural um, sides to it. I have a little bit more to cover here that I'm gonna cover up with some of the part that I just cut off. 
maybe I think I'm gonna take this little bit of white here and I'm gonna cut a crescent moon shape. Now, if you don't feel comfortable just cutting and then gluing, you can always use that pencil and draw your shape and then cut it out. Now, one of the things that you might want to remember when, if you do that is you want to make sure you glue it so the pencil side is down. So there's my little moon on my dark sky. I've got my mountains going here. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this hamburger bun top for my mountains. So I've kind of got some layers going there. Use whatever you have laying around. This is a big, I like working in my sketchbook this way. I have a sketchbook that I work with a lot of collage in. It kind of calms me and uses up paper that otherwise would just have to be thrown away or recycled. I mean, maybe we could have used these Burger King coupons, but at the same time, we're not going out right now. So I'm putting them to good use for my art. So now I've kind of got mountains and ground here. Um, maybe something else I need to add down here. Um, I could even cut out this tree and add it if I wanted. That's a good idea. You could even use things that you find, like if your mom or dad has magazines laying around that they don't read anymore, you could ask if you could cut them up for your artwork. Um, or newspapers. Newspapers, you can get a lot of different um, looks out of. So I just cut out this tree and I'm gonna glue it over here, but I still need something down here. So let's see, looking through my paper I have here. I even have some Safeway ads, some food ads. Like I said, I did not go through this beforehand and pick out really nice paper. I have this art catalog that has a bunch of stuff. I kind of like these colors in the background. Maybe I could use some of that. I know it's got some words on it, but I'm thinking I tear it the right way. I can use some of this for the bottom. Um, if you didn't want to cut paper to create your art, you could even do this landscape with crayons and markers. It does not have to be a collage. It's totally up to you and what you have laying around the house. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that little bit of white showing. I kind of like that. So I'm gonna add my tree that I cut out of a magazine. And I'm gonna glue that down. Okay, now I'm gonna take, kind of like this bright green, I'm gonna cut out a rectangle here with this bright green. And I'm gonna make this a little house. Maybe I'll put it over here next to my tree. So there's a little house. Now I need a roof for my house. Now say, just like I was talking about before, maybe you don't feel comfortable cutting a triangle. You can take your pencil and draw your triangle, the shape you want and then cut it out. So I'm cutting my triangle shape. And then when you go to glue it, glue it on the side so you don't see. So put the glue on the side with the pencil marks. So there's my little house, just a rectangle and a, and a triangle. 
I think I'm gonna cut out some of this white that I have laying right here to make little windows for my house. There's two windows. Now I need a door. Which color? Oh, I like this bright blue here. And I'm just kind of working with what I have. There's my little blue. So there's my little house on my um, little landscape I have here. Now, I think I need something else down here. So I think I might, let's see, I'm gonna use, I have this like junk mail that's got like this greenish texture on it. And oh, look at this, beef has really awesome brown texture. I'm going to cut a rectangle out with this beef. I cut out a rectangle and on the bottom I'm going to kind of give it little triangles okay. and then on the top this is going to become another tree on the top I'm going to add now I know saw that Miss Susie was making a tree yesterday in her drawing video and one of the best things that we like to teach when you're making trees is use the letter Y. It's a really easy way to make a tree. So I'm gonna take these little pieces that I just cut up and make little rectangles that are gonna become my letter Ys. So I have a couple little small pieces here. Oh, you guys can't see that, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was so off. Okay, so I've got some pieces over here I just cut out. Um, still not showing them, there we go. I got some little pieces I just cut out. I have my little tree. Now I'm gonna use this fun little texture paper that I have to make the top of my tree. So I'm gonna try to just cut like an organic shape, which is kind of a shape found in nature. Maddie, cut it out. That's my doggie, I don't know if you can hear. Apparently she needs to go out. So I'm gonna glue this down like this to make another tree in the front of my paper. This is the front, so this is the foreground closest to the viewer. And I actually am gonna take a little bit more of this green and make like grass along the bottom under my tree. I'm gonna glue that down there too. Now, before you start cutting up and tearing up paper, please check with mom and dad that it's not something important. Um, I don't want anybody getting in trouble for tearing up mom and dad's work check or something. Okay, so now I am gluing down these brown rectangles to make the branches of my tree. And I'm just making the letter V or the letter Y to make my tree. Okay, and you can even add some more to that. You could add some more houses up here in the background, up on the mountains. You could do all kinds of things with this. So this is just something to get you started, an idea of using things you have around the house to make a picture. Um, like I said, again, please make sure it's okay with mom and dad before you start cutting up any paper. But this is a fun little project that is not drawing that could be taken a whole nother level for older kids or really preschool for younger kids. And you could use construction paper, scrap paper, whatever you have hanging around the house. So I'm gonna call my little collage done. There's my little landscape collage. I hope you guys had fun with this little lesson. Thanks.